Today we're going to be talking about the American healthcare system. Honestly, this is one for the books. We are the most expensive in the world, and as medicine advances, so do the cost of health care. Most citizens have to go without proper health care because it's too expensive, and health insurances don't really pay for much when it comes to you still getting the bill. So it's hardly affordable. Something that I personally didn't know is that America spends most of its money on health care. That causes a problem because it doesn't guarantee better health outcomes. At present times, high cost of health care interferes with the efforts to try to manage the COVID-19 pandemic because the costs are so affordable that people can't buy their tests and they can't afford their treatments. And looking at America's health care costs compared to other countries, we're the most expensive in the world. Just as an example, in 2018, we spent $3.6 trillion dollars just on health care. So on average, that cost every person in the U.S., despite age or any factor, it costs them around $11,000. And I'm assuming that's per year. The website did not say. And that's from pgpf.org. Um, the COVID-19 pandemic has made health care even more expensive because it doesn't matter who you are, your wealth status, your health insurance, you still have to be treated if you get COVID. And with the pandemic alone, that's costing healthcare facilities a lot of money. Not only does it cost, like the pandemic costs a lot of money, you have to think about healthcare facilities having to purchase PPE, which is personal protective equipment. So that's like masks, gloves, face shields, gowns all of that stuff. They have to be able to buy that stuff because that not only protects the employees, but some of those things will also protect the residents and or patients at the facility. And PPE alone is very costly. <laughs> not to mention the treatments and the medicines and all of those other things that go with having COVID or any sickness of the sort. Another really costly factor is room. Hospitals weren't prepared for the pandemic because it came out of nowhere. So now that COVID is very contagious, so to say, um, hospitals don't have the room for all of the COVID positive patients that need to be separated for those who don't have it so they don't get it. So hospitals need to, they're expanding. They have to buy new beds, new linens, typical equipment that's in a hospital room or healthcare room, facility room, that's very expensive because a hospital bed alone is probably the same amount as a house payment. And that's very, very costly. And it would be even more costly if they didn't separate the COVID patients from those who don't have it. Because if everybody got it, that would be very, very difficult and very, very expensive. That was from investopedia.com. In my opinion, the solution to this problem is provide free health care. In other countries, such as Canada, there's free health care. That makes it a lot easier for people to get the proper services that they need. So they're not going in debt just to live. Um, another thing would be to try to make it more affordable, which in American society, that's probably not going to happen. Neither of the things, are, they're not going to happen. In the pandemic, pe Americans are at their lowest point. We're losing our jobs, we're getting sick, so we have to pay these hospital bills, and there's medication that we still have to pay for, and whether or not you get COVID, you still have to tend to your daily life. You can't just abandon your responsibilities because you're sick, and you can't just ignore the fact that you could have other sicknesses that you have to be able to afford if you have COVID in the pandemic. Free healthcare would allow people to have a better quality of life. You wouldn't be having to spend all of the money that you have just to be able to live. Um, they can live longer and they can go on with their lives without having to worry about a surgery that can give them a better quality of life because that's the American dream, right? Um, in my opinion, America is very selfish with its, with its money. And if you're not rich, so to speak, you're kind of out of luck. 
because the rich can't afford whatever and those below that suffer <laughs> and one thing that doesn't really make sense about not having free health care is we can all get sick equally we're all the same we're all human but because of our wealth and because our health care system is based on the market we're just out of luck and if we have free health care that means equality for all citizens which is something especially in present day that is very important equality so in conclusion america's health care system is terrible there's really not much else to say about that as times go forward and technology and medicine advance the more unaffordable it will be and studies say that as well they're projecting that in 2028 they're going to spend 10 times as more trillion dollars on health care which obviously means that if it's unaffordable now it's going to be a lot more unaffordable then um and it's already not guaranteed that you're going to get the best quality health care out of something and you're not gonna it doesn't always mean success so imagine spending all the money that you have or taking out loans and ruining your credit just to receive a procedure or a treatment or afford your medicine and it doesn't help but now you're out of money that's like being ripped off either way either way you're out of money and the only difference is there's a 50 50 chance of it working and not working because obviously healthcare professionals and doctors and scientists can't know if something specific will work for your body because we're all different and we all react to different things differently so that's the american healthcare system and it sucks and those who aren't rich are out of luck and we're all doomed <laughs>